I'm Jane McDonald and I'm cruising the world. Do you want to come? After half a lifetime at sea, I've lost count of the number of ships I've been on. But I'm definitely in good company. With two million Brits setting sail each year, this type of break is more popular than ever. <laughs> Do you know, I love that sound, don't you? Fancy a cruise yourself? In this series, I'm sampling just a few of those on offer. We're going on as holidays. I'll be exploring the terrific South Pacific with its smoky water and one very uneasy rider. <laughs> Painting a picture of Chile, the country that lives up to its name. Oh, my God, look at this. Look at this. I'm touring the Monte Carlo of South America. I'm in a millionaire's playground. Let me play. You can never get tired of cruising. There's just so many things to see. And that's pretty special, isn't it? That's pretty special. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. So many people to meet. Oh, I can't wait you <laughs> You're ringing up. So much to eat. <laughs> I like my meat. So I'm going for it. And even more to drink. Well, there's another one of these. You won't stop me. This time, I'm going down under. It's absolutely stunning. Having a blast in Australia and New Zealand. What's not to love? Look at this! I'll be cruising around on this little river. It's exciting, isn't it? Woo! Got a fabulous cabin, and it's all mine. I love my it's life. <laughs> <laughs> Along the way, I'll be seeing Skippy. Kangaroo yummies. Ow! <laughs> Meeting my very own crocodile Dundee. It's a love boat, I promise. No, it's, it's not. It's a love boat, it is. And trying to keep my feet on the ground. This just feels a bit weird. Ooh, oh, wait. Oh. A 16 day Australasian adventure. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's just say I'm one very happy Sheila. Oh, Fantastic. Good day, Sydney, Australia's largest city and home to the biggest harbour in the world. There's tons to see here, beaches, galleries, botanical gardens, weather's not bad either. I'd love to head for the surf, but my ship set sail in a couple of hours, so just enough time to do the city sightseeing bus tour. Mop up bus. I love you, all right. A great way to see all the major landmarks and places of interest when you're a bit tight for time. You know, when you've travelled all the way to Australia and you're jet-lagged within an inch of your life, the best way to take in this wonderful city is to get on top of a bus like this. How fab is this? <laughs> oh... Wow. There's the bridge and there's the opera house. Don't get any better than this, does it? The great thing about this tour is you can hop on and off as many times as you like. And now seems like a good time to stretch my legs. The Shell Light Roof of Sydney Opera House is famed the world over. It was designed in 1957 by the Danish architect Jan Utsen. So that's this week's pub quiz question sorted. It was opened in 1973 by none other than Her Majesty, the Queen. If it's good enough for Liz, it's good enough for me. We're outside this iconic place and I'm going to take you and me inside. So come on, come on! Oh. The only way to see behind the scenes is to book yourself a tour guide. Talking of which... You must be Bella. Hi, Jane. Hi. How are really, you? I'm really well. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Sydney Opera House. Thank you. You're very so welcome. So, are we going to go and have a look now? Let's rock and roll. Come on. I've always wanted to perform here, and to get this close, <gasps> I'm in my element. Oh, wow. Look at this. Welcome to the northern foyer of the concert hall. Oh, my goodness, mate. It's gorgeous. Look at this carpet. Just hang on. I've got a thing about carpets. Oh, my God, that's so gorgeous. Look at the purple. Be my guest. <laughs> Very regal, very 70s. It is. You see, that's why I'm so at home on this. Shut your face. But it's um, it's, it's nice carpet, that, isn't it? It is. OK, I'll admit, there are other things to marvel at here. <gasps> oh, Bella, look at that backdrop. That is fantastic. Look at that. Come and 
show me the concert hall. Let's go. Follow me. The six stages play host to over 40 shows a week. That's more than 2,000 every year. Oh. Welcome, Jane, to the concert hall. Oh, my goodness. It's massive. The acoustics are... Ah! That's pretty good acoustics, isn't it? Yes. Just even for me. Wow, that's a big organ. 138 pipes in the front. 10,000 more pipes in the back. My goodness. This floor trembles underneath your feet when it is getting cold. Oh, my goodness me. I could stay here forever. But sadly, the fat lady has already sung on my time in Sydney. My chariot awaits. This fabulous vessel is going to be our home for the next 16 days, and that's a lot of pants. Come on, bring it on. 11 decks high, the Nordam is equipped with two pools, a spa, casino, and even a basketball court. Plenty to keep you busy. Not to mention the nine bars, nearly enough to occupy me. Hello. Okay. That's Thank it, I'm on. Yeah. I'm on my holidays. <laughs> Woo! Right, let's get this party started. Well, before I get too carried away, I suppose I'd better tell you where we're heading. From Sydney, we're going to sail south to the island of Tasmania. From there, we say Huru to Australia and Kiora to New Zealand, heading east to the fjords of Milford Sound. Then we're going down under the South Island before exploring its east coast. And finally, to complete the 9,000-mile journey, I'll be stopping off in Picton, in one of New Zealand's wine regions. <laughs> no surprise there, then. But before I do anything, I need to find my stateroom. Here we go. Oh, this is good. It's right here. Oh. Look at this. I've got a nice balcony, and it's got a very comfortable bed. It's got a lovely bed. I love the bed. I like the fact that you can shut out the world there as well. That's quite nice, isn't it? And I like a curtain. I always like to check out my bathroom. It hasn't got a vanity mirror, but it doesn't matter, cos the light is that good in here. Oh, blimey, it's a bit too good. A bit too good in here. I've got my line for my smalls. Uh, I do love a line. 186 staterooms on board this cruise range from standard cabins to high-end luxury suites. So, I've got a fabulous cabin and it's all mine. My Australasian adventure has officially begun. Bring it on! That's it, we're sailing away, cocktail in hand. We're just about to go under the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which is one of the most famous in the world. He is exciting, isn't he? Woo! I think we can say that as far as sailaways go, this one's pretty spectacular. <laughs> oh, God, look how tight is that? Ooh! Hey! That was, that was pretty hairy, wasn't it? Oh, my goodness me! That's pretty special, isn't it? That's pretty special. <laughs> Coming up, ruse, devils and wombats. Are you keen to play with one? Are Absolutely. they all right to play with? Absolutely. Look, they only really attack the English. <laughs> no. And about those pants. Attractive, aren't they? Necessary for an unusual onboard spa treatment. Ooh. You need to think positive. Jeez! Welcome back on board my Australasian cruise adventure. We've left Sydney and are now sailing south towards the island of Tasmania, known locally as Tassie. It's day two, and with a full day and night until we get there, I'm going to get to know the ship a bit better. Let's go and have a mooch with my camera on a stick. And uh, I like this bit, because I ditched the crew, so I'm just going to... Oh, look, I match the decor. Yeah, I match the decor, look. If I just stand here, I blend in. It's not the biggest ship I've been on, but it packs a lot of punch. Spacious lounges, five restaurants, delicious food and wine. What more could a girl want? I like it. Oh, yeah. We're on as holidays. Come on. 
I love it because everybody's really friendly because they're in the same position as you are. And as I always say to you, a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. Hello there. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm good. What do you think so far? Everybody's happy. Yeah. Everybody's on vacation, so everybody's happy. That's you know? I mean, so. What's to not be happy about? I know. That's I hope right. you have a wonderful so time. Do you. So and you sorry, I'm Jane. I'm Lisa. Lisa, nice to meet you. Thank you. We'll see you soon, see Lisa. You. Bye. Now, on a night when you're feeling like a bit of a sing song, this is a place to come and listen to the live piano player. So I might be in here a couple of nights. I am going to be in here a couple of nights. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, you know me well enough by now. I think I'll give it a miss tonight, though. Even a 32-year-old needs a beauty sleep. Leave it. I'm just looking at tomorrow's trip that I'm going on, which is to Bonnarong Wildlife Sanctuary. And it says here, you'll be fascinated by Tasmania's native and endemic species. That flipping thing looks a bit frightening. That Tasmanian devil looks a bit fierce. Saying that, it might look at my face and think the same. <laughs> One bat, sort of in the name, bat. A kid, is that a bat, is it? <laughs> It's a wombat. <laughs> anyway, I'm absolutely shattered, so night night. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm no David Attenborough, but I do like my wildlife, and this is where you'll find some of the best. We're only stopping here for the day, so I've booked a tour to see a few examples up close. Woohoo! Welcome to Tasmania, you little devils. Let's go see some wombats. Well, not only wombats. This place provides a refuge for a whole range of injured animals, with an army of passionate volunteers nursing them back to health before returning them to the wild. I'm here at Bonnarong Wildlife Sanctuary, so... Greg, Jane. hey! Always oh, great to have you here. Fantastic. Great to see you, thank you. Brought the sunshine with you? Trying my best. I love it, let's go meet oh. some animals, eh? Thank you. From four legs to two legs to no legs, all animals are given a warm welcome here. So this is not a zoo, is it? No, very different. Most of our animals are a bit different to the other kids at school. So yeah. some are missing a leg, others are blind in one eye. Every animal's here for a reason, and they're some of the animals I want to introduce you to today. Oh, look! This is a... A wombat. That's a wombat? <laughs> That's right. This is a very young wombat, an orphan wombat. Oh. Uh, so her mum was hit by a car, unfortunately, oh. which is why she's here. But it's not what I thought a wombat was going to look like. <laughs> what, did you think? what did you think? <laughs> I thought it was a bat. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a bat. I yeah, did. They grow their wings when they're a little bit... No, that's oh, a no, lie. No, that's no, a no, flat-out no. lie. Are you keen to play with one? Yeah, if you like, yeah. Absolutely. Are they all right to play with? Absolutely. Look, they only really attack the English. Aside from <laughs> that, no, they're, they're fine. Absolutely. So, no, okay. look, let's go and have a play. All right. Here we go. You'll be calling me the Wombat Whisperer by the end of this. Have a seat there. And pop your legs out this way. This is a good time to mention she's only killed three people this year. Oh, this something, one. Greg. <laughs> I bet people are coming up now and thinking I'm a wombat. <laughs> Although, I feel more like a dingbat sat here. Here she comes, little munchkin. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> so this is Willow. So you can give her a bit of a pat now. She's yeah. nice and relaxed. There you go, Willow. They're not nervous, mm. uh, I Oops. guess, around people. <laughs> <laughs> Apart so, from me. <laughs> no, that's right. Maybe Wombat Whisperer was a bit premature. I will mention that they do bite a little bit, but it's only play biting. They're not dangerous to us. It's more things like fences, for example, they'll push straight yeah. through. Ow. Or... <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Just bit me there. It's a love bite, I promise. No, it's, it's not. It's a love bite, it is. <laughs> Here we go. See, we're good. Live to tell a tale. No. Struth, that was a bit of a shock. And I've still got the Tasmanian devils to come. So have you met Tassie Devils before? No, I've only seen the cartoon. What do you think compared to the cartoon? A little different? Yeah, I mean, they're so cute. Look at it. It's just cute as anything. It's lovely to see these poor animals getting looked after so well. But if there's one species you just have to see when down under, it's these. Kangaroo yummies. Right. So the way we feed them, we just pop a little bit in our hand and you just they will eat right out of your hand. And it's not just my experience today. I'm gonna let you feed them. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll go first with this. He's a big boy, isn't he? I'm not sure about this. Once bitten and all that. 
Now come and be brave, your turn. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, look at Oh! No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I look on your face every time. Not helping, Greg. Not helping. Hello. Hello there. Oh, look. Here we go. You've redeemed the experience after the wombat attack, my kangaroo. That's true. <laughs> Good boy, thank, thank you. Thank you. Good boy. Aww. Here we go. I'm so brave. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well. <laughs> done very well. You didn't take off up the hill. No, you I didn't. didn't. <laughs> I'm so pleased. So the next lesson is how to ride a kangaroo. You ready for that one? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Not today. No, Grab I'm the not. saddle. <laughs> Get me on the emu. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this experience. It's a beautiful part of the world, and to meet someone as passionate about their job as Greg is has been a great pleasure. Would I like to meet a wombat again? Probably not, but I don't mind looking at it from a fence, <laughs> like most people do. Day three and the sun's setting on our time in Tasmania. Overnight, we're heading a 1,000 miles southeast. It'll take us two full days to get to New Zealand, South Island, but after yesterday's wombat ordeal, that's fine with me. Gives me time to de-stress in the onboard spa with a treatment called Ionithermi. So I'm just gonna go in and get myself electrocuted, apparently. Apparently they cover you in clay and put electrodes in. Uh, what am I do why am I doing this? I'm gonna get electrocuted, it's gonna electrocute me fat away. Here we go. My name is Paula, and I will take care of you today. Thank you. Can you get rid of my fat? <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me let see. Let me see what I can do for you. Come on. So please follow me. Right. I've got a fat back. Is we that can... normal? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh, make it. I can make it. I can fix it for you. Can you fix okay? my fat back? Yes, I can fix it. I'm back. excited about this. I can this. do a little magic. This is for you. What it's is paper that? underwear. Thank you, Ola. You're welcome. Attractive, aren't they? Nice! No. <laughs> I'll just go behind this curtain, shall I? Thank you. <laughs> this isn't right, is it? This is just not right. Paper pants now on. So if I start rustling, you'll know why. Let's hope they don't dissolve, eh? For the science geeks out there, the electrodes are covered in conductive clay. An electric current will make my muscles and body mass contract, at least temporarily. Sounds, uh, fun. OK, Jane. Yeah? Are you ready? Uh, uh no. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you say. Let me know when you feel something, OK? Ooh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's tingling. Oh, flipping heck. It's not quite as relaxing as I'd hoped. Oh. OK. So I'm going to increase sensation because then you're going to have better results. OK. Oh, my muscles are getting used to it now. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. You're quite brutal, aren't you, Ola? No. I'm not, I want to help you, I'm here to help you. So, Jane, are you ready for it? No. Uh, we're going to increase the 100%. Come on, then. No pain, no gain. What are you doing, sir? Blinking over. You need to think positive. It's like getting six-pack without workout. OK, let's, let's release you. Oh. Well, I feel fabulous, thank you. I do know it's stopped. You're welcome. <laughs> right, moment of truth. It better have been worth it. We have a very big difference now. You got a big difference? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Four and one quarter. Four and a quarter inch. Yes. Ooh, I'll take that. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Pretty intense, actually. That was pretty intense. I think I'll just have a massage next time. It's day six, and we've reached our second land down under. And here it is! It's New Zealand! We've arrived! Yay! 
New Zealand's stunning Fjordland covers 5,000 square miles. That's eight times the size of London. It's one of the country's top five tourist attractions, and for my money, the most memorable. It's the wettest place in the world, and trust me, it is living up to its name. This particular stretch is called the Milford Sound, and being a singer, I like a bit of sound. But it is breathtakingly beautiful. Look at that. You're from? Quebec. You're from Quebec. 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 Canada. Oh, fabulous. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think of this? Uh, this is wet. It's wet. <laughs> it's really wet. Yeah. Yes. But it is one of the wettest places in the yeah, world. Yeah, it is. Know. And it's wonderful. It is. It's a nice place. It's our 30th cruise. 30th? Yeah. Yes. My goodness I me. I like it. Yeah. yeah, you like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, l'hôtel, comment on dit ça? She, what she wants to say is, you got your hotel and you have the world going around you. Yes, yes. it's the birth. I could not put it better myself. <laughs> Thank you for giving us that. No <laughs> problem. Have a good one. You too. Bye -bye. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Bye. Oh, perfect. What's not to love? Look at this! Coming up, I pay the piper in Dunedin. Blow into this here and see if you can make a sound. <laughs> and take a stroll down the world's steepest street. Taxi. Oof. One week into my Australasian adventure, I'm on the east coast of New Zealand's South Island. Woo! Oh, it's a wee bit brisky. And I've made it to Dunedin, a city with strong links to somewhere a bit closer to home. That's it, I'm on New Zealand. This is the Scottish part of New Zealand. Okay, the new, come on. Oh, did I not tell you? I'm from Scottish descent, me. The first Scots settled on the South Island in 1848, naming its second largest city Dunedin, the old Gaelic name for Edinburgh. I've got a full day here, so to get me to the heart of the action, I've joined a group tour, starting at Lanark Castle. It's fabulous. Not only that, there's a lot of McDonald tartan around here, so uh, feels like I've come home. Him. Uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. This is one of only two castles in New Zealand and has a very tragic history. Businessman and politician William Lanark built this home for his wife in 1871, but nine years later she died as did his second wife and young daughter not long afterwards, contributing to William later taking his own life. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's not like a big castle, it's more like a stately home. Now, William was, in fact, a great family man. He often said that monetary problems didn't concern him greatly, but family troubles knocked him over. Despite all the sadness attached to it, I could definitely see myself living here. Apparently, there's a great view from the roof and all. Oh. oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness me. It's absolutely stunning. And the really strange thing is, this is at the other side of the world, the furthest place you can get from Scotland. And it is very... Similar. Amazing. Sadly, I've only got a few more hours left in Dunedin. Just enough time for a quick blow. Hello. Oh, that was so good. good. It's just like transporting me back to Scotland, listening to you. Would you like to learn? What, me? Play bagpipes? Yes. I'll show you what to do. Right. Now, yeah. you just put them over here. OK. With my surname, I should be good at yeah. this. Blow into this here and see if you can make a sound for a start. Ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, I don't think I could do yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I saw a bit of... Ooh. No, that takes a lot of doing. <laughs> See you later. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. What a fantastic place. There is so much Scottish heritage here, and I sincerely hope I get a chance to come back here again. I've loved it. OK, the new. On the way back to the ship, the tour's stopping off where you can take the high road. Literally. We're here in Dunedin, on the steepest street in the world. Selfie moment, because nobody will believe that I'm here. Yep. Oh, you're supposed to smile on these, aren't you? Right, I'm going down. Ah! This, this is pretty steep, I have to say. Baldwin Street sits at 19 degrees, and by heck, it's right good for your thighs. Oh, this just feels a bit weird. If you got to the side of me, you could see that <laughs> this is me stood comfortably. Otherwise, I'm going to fall backwards. Right. Taxi. Oof. I hope I didn't leave anything at the top. Anyway, that's enough exercise for one day. I'm heading back to the ship for something a bit less strenuous. Oh, yes, there's a shop. I keep losing this, which is my key. So I'm going to look and see if there's a lanyard that I can put over my neck because I keep putting this down and that is really dangerous because it's got your name on it and your cabin number. <laughs> Hi, have you got a lanyard that yes, I can... I have you? Yeah, I can show you. Oh, thank you. Oh, are these them? Of course, the great thing about shopping on board is that we're all in the same boat, so to speak. But I'm thinking that's quite nice. Yes. What do you think, girls? What do you oh, think yeah, to that? Nice. Was yeah, that much? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, classy. Definitely. Oh, blimey, I'm definitely getting it if it's classy. <laughs> <laughs> Something I don't nice. often get called. Oh, you're lovely girls. Oh, thank, thank you so you much. much. Thank you. Nice See you later. You. Bye. Yeah, I quite like this as well. Take them both. Shall I? Yeah, why not? So that'll match like everything. That. That'll match everything as well. Two of them. I just can't help myself. But if shopping's not your thing, the ship offers other activities, like a pampering in the spa, music and theatre shows, and yoga. But instead of dusting off my lycra, I'm off to tickle my taste buds. Now, there's a lot of rivalry between Australia and New Zealand, and I'm just going to go and do a wine tasting, fabulous, uh, to see which is the best wines, uh, Australia or New Zealand. So I'll let you know very shortly. Bye. You've not seen me with a drink in me and that often so far this cruise, so I'm about to have several as part of the ship's onboard wine tasting okay, afternoon. Yes. I love my life. <laughs> like I need an excuse. <laughs> Ooh. I like that one. This one is not going in the bucket. This one is going in my bucket. <laughs> I like it, but I'm a short and so for me, um, I think it's a very nice finish. Not only do you get to taste some fabulous wines at this session... So you drink yeah. Pinot Grigio all the time? It's a great way of making new friends on board. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my drinking buddies now. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So New Zealand is in the lead. This is my kind of research. I've always got told that red wine is better for you than white wine. So I'm always thinking, it's better for me. <laughs> Which is a lot of rubbish, isn't it, really? Mm. That's, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. My favourite wine of all time is from Napa Valley. Oh, we It is. Is that over the hill from you? I'm coming to stay. Wow. That is just the best wine for me. Ever. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'll drink to that, girls. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, that was really good fun. Not only did I meet some lovely, lovely passengers on here, but I've also drank some extremely good wines. I've always been a big fan of Australian wine, but I have to say, I prefer the New Zealand to Australian wines. So, um, cheers. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to go and have a nap because that's the only thing you can do after a wine tasting. 
It's the end of my first week, and overnight, we're steaming over 250 miles north to the largest city on the South Island, Christchurch. The only thing I remember about Christchurch was a terrible, terrible earthquake seven years ago. So you just don't know how well it's done since then. And you know what? I'm now looking forward to, to seeing this wonderful part of the world. The harbour is still too badly damaged for our ship to dock in, so we're boarding a smaller passenger boat, called a tender, to go to another port nearby. What a beautiful day. Thank you. I've been freezing since I got here. I thought, right, I'm going to put thermals on today. I'm going to be sweating now. Right, glowing, sorry, glowing. I don't sweat. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Until the harbour reopens, it's a one-hour drive to the city. But it's OK. Around every corner in New Zealand, there's a stunning picture postcard scene. Christchurch has always been popular among tourists. Fabulous architecture, food markets and punting all made this city a must-see. But then came 2011. With a magnitude of 6.2, the earthquake reduced much of it to rubble. 185 people lost their lives on that February day. Entire buildings collapsed. Roads and bridges were torn up, and around 10,000 homes were left so unsafe they had to be demolished. Today, every tourist penny goes towards helping rebuild this beautiful place. I've decided to spend my day here on a city tour with a difference and my guide is one of the quake survivors. You must be Wendy. I'm Jane. Nice to meet you. Yes. Right, let's see this wonderful place. Yes. So February the 22nd, 2011, yes. is a horrendous day for you. Yes, indeed, for all of Christchurch. Yeah. And can you tell us exactly what happened? Were you, were you actually here? I wasn't right in the city. I was coming in to babysit my grandson and as soon as I felt the earthquake my car went like this and so did the power lines beside me oh, wow. so, but my son was in a building just on the square uh -huh. and he was um, trapped on the um, ninth floor oh no the stairs in his building which is about 18 stories high fell down oh gosh so he was watching everything going on yes. while trapped. They eventually got them out with a fireman's ladder. Oh, gosh, I mean, so not only is everything going around you, but you knew that your son was in danger yes. as well. Yes. Wow, and this is just unbelievable. When you see it in this state, mm. you realise just how catastrophic it was. Although it's seven years on, the devastation is still all around to see. There was a massive tower attached to that cathedral, and uh, the thought of Wendy's son watching all that collapse while trapped in his own office with no staircase, you just can't even put yourself in that situation. While rebuilding continues, Christchurch has made sure the victims will never be forgotten. Each of the 185 chairs in this memorial represents a life lost. It really does sort of bring it to reality when you see every single different chair. It's so moving to see this, but it's also moving to see all the new life building again. Indeed, yes. Coming up, it's a farmer's life for me. <gasps> Woo! We're bringing in the harvest to make fabulous wine. And all that work deserves a reward. We're drinking, bodies. Oh, yeah. We were drinking without you. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> it 
It's day nine and my final day on New Zealand's South Island before I continue my journey around the North one. Pick ten. The land of logs. <laughs> What's all these logs doing here? They're actually one of the main exports, along with the fantastic grapes grown here in New Zealand's famous wine region. Covering nearly 5,000 square miles, the district of Marlborough produces some of the world's best wine. You could choose to spend your afternoon here on the standard group winery tour offered by the ship, which includes tasting and nibbles. But because I'm me, I've been invited for a more intimate look around one of the vineyards with the general manager, Amanda. Oh, welcome, Jay. Oh, what a beautiful place you have oh, here. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Oh, and you too. <laughs> so, where are you taking me now? We're off to do some harvesting. Harvesting? Does that mean I've got to work? Yes, absolutely. Oh, dear, they told me drinking. <laughs> this is one of the few remaining family-owned wineries in New Zealand. Producing nine varieties from seed to bottle, it's a big operation. The vineyards stretch over 300 acres. That's a lot of grapes. So, Jane, this is part of our vineyard. This is um, a Sauvignon block that we're harvesting at the moment. Should we try some? Oh, have you got some for me yeah, to try? Yes, try some. Oh, me. please, that'd be lovely. I'll just pick this bunch off here. OK. Oh. And, oh, look um, at those. Yeah, they're quite small grapes, but they're sweet and delicious, and it should taste like Sauvignon Blanc. Mmm, mmm. Pips in. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty attractive, isn't it? Um, oh, that's lovely. It's mm -hmm. amazing how true to flavour they are. It really is like tasting the wine itself. <laughs> Shall we do a ride in the harvester? Do you want to help us pick some grapes? Me? Ride in the harvester. Why not? Oh, go on then. <laughs> All right, we shall. Glad I put my trousers on. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Such grace. Oh, this is brilliant up here. Oh, you've got to get it just right. grapes are going to make a lot of people very happy. Once turned into wine, of course. It doesn't look so appetising over there, does it? No. no, no. <laughs> I'm not drinking that. <sighs> Hiya. That was absolutely brilliant. I loved every minute of that because you feel so empowered being that high up and feeling that vibration of that massive piece of equipment. It's really exciting. It's really good and I made some wine. OK, not quite, but it looks like too much hard work for me. I think I'll leave it to the professionals and skip straight to the end product. Ah, look who's here! Oh, look at oh, you! Oh, 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 yeah. We were drinking without you. I'm oh, sorry. I can tell. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell. I need a glass. <laughs> what is this? We have our Sauvignon Blanc 2017. Oh, is that good one? You need a taste Try okay. yourself because everybody yeah. has their own taste. Mm -hmm. Cheers. 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 Very nice. Cheers. Cheers. This is like drinking last of the summer wine. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, I'm only halfway through this cruise, but I've already made enough memories to last a lifetime. Hey! That's pretty special, isn't it? I've fulfilled a dream on stage. I've sang at the Opera House. Come face to face with fierce creatures. Ow! Hey, he's scared. <laughs> been touched by the rebirth of a devastated city. This is just unbelievable. Most important, I've made lots of new friends along the way. I love my life. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'm continuing my journey up north. And that's perfect for a last from Wakefield. A great view of the city in the back. Oh, it's stunning from up here. <laughs> along the way, I get a kick out of Wellington. Just look at that. 
It's breathtaking. I'm touched by Maori tradition in Napier. Welcome, Jane. Oh, I feel very humbled by that. Hobbiton proves nothing short of amazing. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> we are actually in a movie set. And I fall for the city of Auckland. I well, can't do this. You can. I hold can't. on, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, on, no, anyway. no, no. What am I doing? Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> what? In a small Tasmanian town, a teenage girl investigates her father's death and reveals a dark secret that affects all the residents. In the Tailings, now streaming on SBS On Demand.